Hello, in this video, we're going to be training an object detector to be able to classify different types of cards. So, in training, if you have a GPU and a desktop, you can use it to train faster. Especially if you have a 1050 Ti or above, the training will be a lot quicker instead of using a CPU, for example. So, to use your GPU, you need to install a TensorFlow GPU, which I will show in a second, and you will also need to install these two packages, CUDA Toolkit and CUDA CUDNN. So to install this specific package over here, you're going to have to make a membership account, which is free. And we're going to be installing 7.6.5 for CUDA 10.0, which I've already installed. But all you have to do is click it. And once you've installed it, you're going to have to add certain paths to your directory, which I will show as well. And same with CUDA. So once you've installed those two, you're going to have to go to here, this PC, Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and you're going to have to go to Path. I'm just going to press Edit. So once in here, you can press New and add your file or path. And here you can see I've added the specific path for the NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit. We have to add one for the bin as well as the library over here. And I'll put all these in the description so it'll be a lot easier to just copy and paste them in here. So I've installed mine in C drive. If you install yours in D drive, make sure you change it. Otherwise, all of this won't work. I had a lot of, a lot of trouble as well if I hadn't installed the correct paths or put them in this path here, it's going to use the CPU, which is going to take a lot longer. And here I also have the other CUDA 10.1, which didn't work with uh, TensorFlow 1.15. And yeah, and also I'll put the paths for the CUDNN as well. So once you put those, we have to open Anaconda Prompt over here. And here we have Anaconda Prompt open. So I have all the commands listed up here. So you're going to have to create a virtual environment, which we will install TensorFlow on and run all the training on. So you're going to take this command right here. And this will take quite a bit to create the virtual environment. So I've already done it. Once you've pasted it, it'll be done. And to get into your virtual environment, all you have to do is put activate and the name of your virtual environment, which I've set to TensorFlow 1. So you'll know if you're in the virtual environment if it shows the name of your environment behind the directory, basically. And we're going to have to install or upgrade pip if you don't have it. So that'll just run quickly. And yeah, see, I already have it. And as you can see on this command here, if you don't have a GPU, then just take out this part here where it says GPU and just install TensorFlow normally. And again, I already have this installed. So it's just the same process, copy and paste it here, press enter. Now we're going to have to install protobuf for a later command. And as you can see, there are a lot of packages, but you only have to do this once. And once you do this, it'll be easy after. So just paste this in here, and it's going to say requirement already satisfied or up to date because I've already installed this, and it's going to be the same with all these packages. So it'll take you around 15 minutes to install all of these, and then we're going to have a couple commands after. Alright, so also there's going to be a folder which you will set up with all the models and pictures and annotated labels and I'll show you specifically which folder uh, you can add your own images to. So same process with these just copy and paste them here and install. And every time you open the virtual environment you're gonna have to set the Python path so you remember you're gonna have to do that otherwise you're gonna get a bunch of errors and problems later on. So uh, wherever you put this folder here, I'll show you where it is. So I've put it in the D drive over here. 
TensorFlow 1, Models, Research, and Object Detection. So if you put this in your C drive, then the command here, you're going to have to change all these to C, like so. But since I have it in the D drive, uh, I just set it to D drive here. And it's really important that you have all your paths set correctly. Otherwise, you're really going to have, you're going to be frustrated and you're going to get a lot of errors later on. So I'm just going to put set Python path. Now, you're going to have to change directories quickly to wherever that folder is. So now you're going to just have to paste this command in here, change directories to wherever your folder is. And actually first I have to change D drive. Uh, oops. And then you can change to Jusha. All right. So once you have that, you're gonna have to run this large command over here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Paste. All right. On. And so now we're gonna run up or run these couple commands over here and this will run just a couple of Python scripts. Alright. And also this command over here. Yeah, that's a pretty long command. So after all of that has been run, we need to see if TensorFlow has been installed properly. And this will make sure that you've put all the paths correctly enough. So to do this you would you should have already have installed Python and to put this command. And remember I'm gonna have all of these in either the description or GitHub repository. Copy it like that. Alright. Same as this. And make sure there aren't any spaces. And I'll show you the output you should have. Yeah, see, you need to have all these libraries open. And then, moment of truth, Let's see if. Tensorflow is working properly. There you go. So this is the output you should have. Hello TensorFlow. If you have that work, that means you've installed TensorFlow properly and we can continue on later. So this is the whole setup video and I'll include the file link for this whole fo folder including TensorFlow 1 and all of this. And once you have all of this set up, it's pretty easy from here on. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing how to install label image and how to collect all the data and images and annotate them and get them all ready for training later on. Thanks for watching.